big news late last week. Deshaun Watson's uh, hearing in front of the disciplinary committee, Sue Robinson, former judge, uh, is over. Post-hearing briefs are due next week. I think the 11th is yep. the day that they're due. Um, and I, I'm just going to read this straight from here because I want to make sure I get it right. So this was according to Pro Football Talk, Mike Florio, who, by the way, has been a Deshaun Watson hater for the last three months, been screaming for at least year-long suspension and all this stuff. So this is big coming from him. Also a former attorney, so he knows this stuff. Um, Deshaun Watson hearing has ended. The NFL... Uh, interviewed 12 alleged victims. The hearing focused on five of the women making allegations against Watson. Here's the, here's the big thing. The case presented by the NFL included no evidence of violence, threat, force, or coercion by Deshaun Watson. The NFL admitted that the punishment it seeks, an indefinite suspension of at least one year, is unprecedented. And lastly, the NFL admitted that its security director invent, investigated the Robert Kraft situation and that no punishment was imposed. A lot to unpack there, I think. I think let's go back to the beginning. The first thing, case was presented with no evidence of violence, threat, force, or coercion by Deshaun Watson. So, so I don't know. Like Whenever all these tweets started coming out um, and I'm reading it, uh, I'm pretty sure I text Blake and Josh and the group, and even I was talking to my wife about it, and I'm like, I don't think he's getting suspended. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if there was... You know, if there was no evidence that, you know, to me, like that says, hey, they didn't have really any kind of case when I read that. Not like I'm not a lawyer. I'm not uh, obviously, you know, uh, but um, your podcast, I'm a podcaster (laughs) slash, you know, tour converter uh, builder guy. So um, but, you know, I read these things and I just go, what was exactly presented? Like if there was no evidence, you know, based on that tweet. What, what were they presenting? And John even said, you know, in a text message, he said, you know, maybe those interviews with those victims were the evidence that the NFL presented, you know, as like a, almost like a side, you know, piece, like if maybe there was evidence, because to me, I don't see anything about any evidence. So to me, I, 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 th- I think zero games now. I mean, I, I, I don't see any other way. What are you suspending them for? There's, there's your, what for trying to hook up with chicks? I mean, okay, well then suspend three fourths of the league. And three fourths of and guys three, four, anywhere. Yeah. Three fourths of the dogs podcast, you know, pre, <laughs> yeah. pre marriage. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just so if you didn't get a chance, I suggest watching this Mike Florio, the video he put out breaking this all down. Um, like he talked he said at this point it's almost as if the league is trying to push the suspension based on he was um, participating in behavior that could put him in a bad situation that would then put the shield in a bad light. But then the catch 22 is they admitted that they investigated Bob Kraft, who also got a massage that ended in something other than a massage and they investigated it and there was no punishment. So how, how can then you then punish Deshaun for the same, essentially the same behavior, especially when the Robert Kraft situation did have evidence. Correct. Yes. So, so, and to all the people, we put out the video to all the people saying uh, he didn't, you know, he's not being accused. Well, it turns out victims of sex, sex trafficking, they don't get to just go to the police station right. and, yeah. and report right. abuse. Okay. So what he did was still just as bad. And Bob Kraft might only got caught once. He, I guess, it wasn't once. It wasn't once. He didn't just one day all willy nilly decide to walk into the, to the massage parlor and get a happy ending. Right. At. 70 some years old or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no way. First time. So, no. um, I think of the, the biggest thing to me, which I always thought was the coercion, like the, right. Hey, yes. if you don't do this, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, there was a lot business. of allegations of that. Yeah. Yeah. They felt threatened and worried that he was going to derail their bu- yeah, business and things like that. Yes. Yeah. And there was none of that. Nope. So, so what are we doing here? And like you said, you know, the NFL is sitting down with the victims or the the accusers. Well, that's still just them accusing him of what they've already said right. without evidence. I mean, you can't suspend a guy based on accusations. We talked about that last week. I mean, I think you used the example. The Chargers say, hey, we want to win the division this year, so let's just get a bunch of people to go accuse Patrick Mahomes of doing something. And they'll sit him down. Yeah. We can't start this precedent. I also saw that the um – uh, Sue Robinson not happy that the NFL put these leaks out 
about like how they're pushing for their suspension and all that. She's treating this as it's like a, a major court case. Yeah. That's not a, it should be. Not a public um, opinion, opinion case. case. <laughs> and so she wasn't happy with the NFL for the leaks. And then I also saw that the fact that the NFL then leaked afterwards, they felt like they did enough to warrant to get a suspension is just proof they know they lost. Mm-hmm. The, the, the people who are putting the leaks out like that, they're the ones who know they lost. Uh, Mike Florio, one thing he mentioned in this video that I really made me mad, he's he kept blaming Deshaun's camp and Deshaun for not dispelling the rumors about the case and not coming out and being like, this is what happened. But they, no, they didn't have to. They, they, they weren't playing the public opinion game. They were going about their business where it matters in the actual hearings and in the court, and they, and they were just saying, this will speak for itself and it's done. Tony Busby, the guy who didn't have anything, he's the one who had to try to sway public opinion to get his way. You you can tell who is winning and who's losing based on the way they're playing the game. Mm, yeah, you really can. So it's just, to me, no, they didn't owe the public anything. If the public wanted to know, all they had to do was look. It was all out there. It was, This wasn't a mystery. We've been saying it on here for since we signed them. Yeah. It, the, the, the whole situation just still blows my mind. And I still hear all these people saying, oh, well, now they'll say now he's definitely getting a year. D- you, I mean, you mean after they came out and said they, they presented no evidence, yeah. now you're certain he's getting a year suspension? That or thing, what? That thing you said, I think, it yes. had to be like a Steelers. No. no it, was, it, was a, so it was a guy that used to work for CBS Sports. And uh, so I sent these guys an article, and it was um, – you know, radio radio show, and they interviewed. I can't remember the guy. He was basically an NFL insider, and then he now he works on this radio station. But he said he, after everything that's happened and all the tweets and everything that have came out, he's like a hundred percent positive Deshaun Watson won't even play a game with the Browns. And I just was like, maybe, I, I, I maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm misreading what's being leaked out maybe it's being construed or something because to me i'm not i don't see that at all i'm completely on the other side is if they're you know based on what that says i don't understand how if anything to me like max max suspension i'm saying like six games max and i would be and not even then i'd be like so if there wasn't a case how are we why are we just suspending a guy for six games yeah uh, th- at this point if it's anything over zero games i'm going to Alvin like, Kamara for is what? on video for what? <laughs> punching a guy with you know uh, with a, you know a Kansas City safety and is getting six games, right? So, and I, I'm not comparing the two situations. I'm just in terms of suspension. That's all it is. As ter- you know, as that's what his punishment is. There's rumors that you know they're saying, hey, anywhere from four to ten games is somewhere more in the timeline now after all this stuff. And I'm just I don't. I don't understand it. I, I think with this being a judge who's making the decision, it, it points to zero, in my opinion, because the NFL is the kind of, you know, Goodell is the kind of person who would arbitrarily put out a six or eight game suspension just because to make the NFL look good. And he had to go through the hassle of doing all this stuff and he doesn't want the blowback. This judge couldn't give two craps about that. She's take, she's looking at it purely as a court case. And she's deciding whether something was done wrong or not or warrants a punishment. She could care less about the blowback on Goodell or any of that. So to me, it says zero. Uh, this is NFL reporter Albert Breer, reputable source, reported that the sources told him Judge Sue Robinson was not happy with the NFL in their leaks prior to the hearing. NFL insider Josina Anderson said, according to her sources, Judge Robinson was going to base her opinion on how the personal conduct policy was precisely written. The policy states individuals will be suspended for conduct that is illegal, violent, dangerous, or irresponsible, puts innocent victims at risk. To me, that's... Zero. No evidence present. There was no evidence that said any of that happened mm-hmm. at all. That's and I know there's people. Oh well, you know he did this, or you know he just know he did you that. You don't know. Crap. You don't know anything. Yeah, it's still now your opinion because yeah. there's no facts, no proof to back it up. And even after all this stuff is being said, I still don't think anybody really knows what's going on. Like I really, <laughs> I really don't think uh, there's a lot of people reporting stuff. I really don't think that anybody has a clue what the real suspension or not suspension could be. And if she does rule zero games, I don't think that 
Goodell is going to challenge it because you put this plan in place. You went with this new process that you said, hey, this would be fair for, you know, based on the CBA, all that. This is the way that we're going to conduct business now in these kind of situations. So the first time that she makes a ruling, you're going to go, eh, you know, I don't really agree with you on that. I think that uh, our way sounds better. I just don't. I think if she rules zero, I, I don't think there's going to be an appeal. I well, think if she rules zero, there can't be. An there's appeal. no. The only way there can be an appeal is if she rules any games. Okay. And then both sides can appeal. If she rules zero, it's case closed, done. That sounds pretty good to me. I mean, I really do think that the people putting out these articles and, and saying these things about a year-long suspension, he might never suit up for the Browns in his career. They're, they're just very, very angry towards the situation, spiteful. I don't know. They, they don't you know, like they, the Browns. <laughs> They don't, yeah, they don't like the Browns or they, they think they got their head wrapped in this whole thing of Deshaun's a bad person. They just can't let it go that there's nothing backing that up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's, it's, it's just your opinion until there's proof. Right. Yeah. I, um, I, I've seen more reports now, other than the one he sent us, that's say, that saying they would be surprised. They wouldn't be surprised with zero more mm-hmm. than I'm seeing year long anymore. Like yeah. that's almost, that's gone. And what's the national media going to say once all this happens? Like, if they rule zero games, oh. what is the national media? Because I've seen a lot of people just all run the- this guy's name through the dirt for the past year. And the Browns? Yeah. How disgusting of an organization we are. How disgusting we are as fans if we continue to root. First off, I've been rooting for the Cleveland Browns for 36 years. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to me, I've lived through horrible, horrible seasons my entire life. So... You can call me a disgusting fan all you want. That's fine. It's still my team. <laughs> and we kind of talked about it. Me and Blake talked about it. I talked to a guy. I was out at dinner, you know, with some people. And I said, you know, how do you feel about big time Browns guy? I said, hey, how do you feel about the Deshaun Watson thing? Because I've heard both sides. My wife's dad said, you know, Browns, I can't believe they would do this. You know, this, I can't believe this. And, you know, how would you bring in a guy like this? And then, you know, I'm talking to this guy and he said, you know, I, this might be a terrible opinion on this, but I watch football f- for the entertainment. You know, he's like a lot of the, some of these situations that these guys have come out of maybe aren't that great. And, you know, how are we to judge a guy before anything has even been proven mm-hmm. um, based on what he did? And I was like, you know, hey, man, I get it. I completely understand where you're at. You know, it is what it is. I just. I think it's we're gonna by the, before training camp. I think we're gonna get good news. I think so too. I think we're gonna get good news, and I think it's. I think a lot of people they were so adamant that it was gonna go the other way. They're gonna be eating a ton of crow. Oh, big time! Or they're just gonna go really continue to go hard in the wrong direction of oh they made a mistake. You know they he's definitely guilty. Blah blah well, blah. So blah, you blah. can say that all you want. Why he's dicing you up? Yep, <laughs> winning <laughs> for, games, for seventeen and- games this year. So. Um, we just wanted to cover that because that was big news that dropped this week uh, about Deshaun. I, I really think – I think another big thing is that the NFL admitted that the punishment they're going for is unprecedented. Yeah. So you presented a case with legitimately zero no evidence, evidence, and then you're telling this lady, I know we don't have any evidence of this, but we'd be really cool if you'd suspend this guy for a year anyways. Even though we admit that's unprecedented. Yep. And we hold the owners to a higher standard, but, but, didn't, just, but didn't, <laughs> didn't really care. You know, he didn't even get a fine, you know, from not only from the, whoever charged him with the crime in Florida or wherever it was, Tampa or wherever, or the NFL didn't even come out and sus- like suspend him or fine him or think that he was in the wrong for doing anything. Whether right. the evidence was illegally collected or not. It was still there. It was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet if somebody if somebody murders murdered somebody on tape, but the tape was ruled inadmissible, so that guy got out, we'd all still know he was a murderer, right? <laughs> you know, like right. this dude is getting a handy on tape. It might have been considered ad- inadmissible. We still all know he was getting it, yeah. right? It didn't make me forget that I saw it. I mean, I didn't watch it, but <laughs> you know what I mean, like yeah. yeah. So, um. Sorry, we strayed a little into PG-13 territory there. I hope that's okay. What's going on, Browns fans? The action never ends at DraftKings Sportsbook, especially this summer. 
With tons of ways to bet on all your favorite sports, you can fuel your fandom and feel the heat of the season like never before. Plus, right now, DraftKings Sportbook is giving new customers a risk-free bet up to $1,000. It's a lot of dough. That's right. Make your first bet up to $1,000, and if it doesn't win, you'll get another shot to cash in. You can throw down on all the uh, major action on baseball, golf, MMA, and more. Plus, with same game parlays, spreads, money lines, over-unders, and props, your betting options never feel endless. Best of all, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code TPPN. Make your first deposit and get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code TPPN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Look forward to betting with you soon and minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. God bless. 